Well, how do there, Chums? This I, Captain of the Steves, and today, Chums, I'm back inside of No Man's Sky doing another base tour on the steampunk planet that I visited the other day. So let's jump on over into game. The sun should be rising any second now inside of game. But uh, before it does, let me give you the actual portal codes to this area. So here we are, and let's bring up the portal address. There's the portal address in the bottom corner. I'm going to try and make that as big as I can for you people. As you can see, the sun is starting to rise in the background right here. There we go. And the sun is up. And here is the base. So this is actually made by Rich Smith. If I go into report base, and that I'm not going to. But there you go. You can see it says a bionic heart. Yeah, that's the actual person that created it in-game, but he also goes by the name of Rich Smith in most social networks. Welcome, Thrafala. If I go into camera mode here, let's just spin it around. Let's have a quick look-see. I like that you built it near to that monolith in the background. That works quite nicely. And I can see you've got an array of freaking teleporters that are going to take me all over the freaking shop. One up there, one over there. Yeah, let's, let's go jump in some teleporters, shall we? Let's try this one first. Zoom! And I'm up on the little airship over here. Pretty darn freaking sneaky. I love the steampunky vibes to this. That's keeping it afloat here, people. Let's just have a quick look at this bit. Very nice. I wonder why there's a switch here. I wonder what that does. Okay, what's that? Oh, look, it dropped balls. Haha. <laughs> oh, that's pretty darn freaking epic, isn't it? Oh, wow. I could do this all day. Oh, that's pretty darn freaking snaz. I like that. Okay, right, okay, well, let's teleport back down then. Boom! We're back down here again. And we're going this side. Is it going to just do the same thing on the opposite side? Is it all symmetrical? I do like symmetry. No, this has taken me over onto the actual vessel itself. Oh, my days. Rich Smith, you do love your teleporters. I like everything that's going on up inside of there. There's all sort of like Turnyman Whirlyman things. Very cool. I love all the like little flags up here. It almost looks like solar cells. Like it's some sort of solar freighter. That's the thing. That would be nice, wouldn't it? To have solar winged freighters. Thank you. I mean, we've got the frigates. Why not have some freighters? Why the fudge not indeed? Okay, well, this is looking very nice. Oh, look, it's got an interior as well. It's like a little kitchen's mess. Ha! <laughs> There's a neutron processor in here and everything. This is awesome. I love the table. Hey girls, it's even got some fruits on. That's poison to the captain. I freaking like chocolate, not fruits. Okay, let's head on out here. There's probably a lot of people that agree with me on that one. Righto. Well, there's probably not, actually. But there we go. Let's, let's fly on up this way. Nearly ow. I don't think I'm supposed to fly up this way. I'm supposed to use the teleporters. That's what I'm supposed to do. All right, okay. Well, let's try this one at the front of the ship, then. Where's that take me? Boom. Where am I now? Oh, I'm actually in the doohickey. I'm actually in the freaking balloony bit. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, sweet. There's some weird staticky sounds in here as well. What the fudge? Look, it's actually moving. Oh, that's a cool idea. I've never thought of doing that on some sort of timer switches. That is so freaking clever, mate. Oh, that's giving me an idea for, like, wings. Not that it will work, but, yeah, that, that's, that's freaking awesome. Very cool. I, I love that. That's that's. I've not seen that done before. Yeah, this is pretty darn cool. I've been to a lot of bases and I haven't seen that done before. I haven't. That, that's actually really quite clever. I like it. It adds an extra sense of movement. Very nicely done there, Red Smith. Okay, let's jump through here. Kaboom! And I'm back on the actual hull of the actual ship. Oh, let's just go back in there. Let's go in the opposite one. Let's go in this one. Let's see where that one takes me. Where am I now? Holy moly! I'm in a secret room! And look, here's I guess these are the timer switches or something. Very cool. Alright. What's going up here? Wowzers. Okay, and there's another teleporter there. There's a little holographic guy there. You'll notice he's Gek, but he makes Viking noises. Oh, that's pretty darn sweet as well. It almost turns in unison with this thing. <laughs> well done! There's so many little things, so many little things. Okay, let's head on up through here. And it's just taking me up a floor higher. Cool. Harvest all plants. All right. I don't know what I just got. I just had some plants though, mate. Heck yes. Just nicked your plants. Go through here. Oh man, look at this. Look at this. This is freaking epic. Oh, I love the fact that you can see sort of like the pterodactyl things through the actual glass and the ceiling. 
They look like they've been done using the wonder projectors. Very clever. Okay. And now are we on? Yeah, we're actually on the top, and we can see them a lot better. So that's what's keeping this afloat. These guys. You better keep them well fed. Or else we're in trouble. Then again, they're, they're holograms. So, you know, perhaps no birds are actually injured in the making of this base. Nice. Very, very cool. Very, very cool indeedy doody. I have to say, that's pretty impressive. I don't know what's going on with the sound right now, though, people. That's not impressive. It sounds like a prolonged sort of fart, doesn't it? I might have to do something about that. Maybe just put some music in the background or something. Because, yeah, that's, that's proper knackered. There we go. Now the sound's back to normal. Sorry about that, people. Actually, I don't think there's much I can do about that. I can lay some music over the background, but it wasn't too bad for too long anyway. And I have got the sound turned down a bit. But what an awesome, awesome base. Rich Smith! Freaking heck, mate. That was bloody mind-blowing. Boom. Love all the teleporters to help you sort of, like, uh, navigate around there. Freaking lovely. Heck, yes. Boom. It looks like there's some sort of... Um, guns on the underside of here that I didn't actually look at. So let's go and have a look at the underside. Maybe I didn't make my way all the way down to the bottom. I don't think I did. And it looks like there's some sort of cockpit in here. Or maybe I walked past the cockpit. But I bet you you can get in there, people. Yeah, and there's like little seated bits and stuff and gun turrets and all sorts of shizzle. Freaking love it, mate! You thought of everything. It's beautiful. I guess it is. Well done, Rich Smith. There you go, people. I hope you come and visit. And if you do come and visit, just, you know, keep in mind that these bases are quite complex. Fly in slowly, land a little way, give them a little bit of breathing time. And if you aren't going to put your own base down here, this is a steampunk planet, hence its name, Steampunkia. Okay? If you are going to build a base here, make it look in keeping. Make a steampunk-esque base... And at least put, I don't know, two to four thousand years between you and this base or any other base that you find on this planet. Be respectful of others, basically. And if you do want to put down a comms ball, put one down as you emerge from the actual portal. I have put one here. In fact, we'll take a little flyover and see if anybody else has added any in the time that I put out the one on, you know, ER Burrows. If you didn't see the video of ER Burrows is based on this planet, I'll put a video link up there. Go hit that up. Because he's made something wondrous as well. A giant Again, spider. flying down to the old portal. And it looks like there is another comms ball. So there's my one over there. Let's land. Let's land. Captain Steve was here. That was me. I put that there. Yeah, greetings from Matthias, West Virginia. Nice. Heck yes. So yeah, when you emerge from the actual portal, stick your comms balls here, people. Yeah, because if I do come back here at a later date to view other people's steampunkier type bases, I might even put my own steampunkier base here, people. I might. I might. I might do a steampunky dragon. I do like building them, and I have improved on it, my last one that I've done, so why the fudge not? There we go. Nice one. But yeah, I'll read a few more out. Yeah, there we are. There you go, people. Anyway, air grab time, I think, peeps. There we go. Let's, uh, let's do one of those air grabs. Hiya! Chukaboo! And until next time, people, you've all been freaking awesome. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.